Dennis Horton sitting right across from me from the Better Business Bureau. How are you? I'm good, Riley. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. I'm very good. I'm glad you took time to come in here. You and I have been talking off and on about you know, there's so much stuff, and I go to your website all the time. Good. There is so much information. There's so many scams. There's so many uh, things that will save people some money, some hassle, some time. And it, it, it's all right there on the site, but not everybody's got every day to, to find and, and plumb and see what you got going on over there. Mm -hmm. But there, there are plenty of things, especially in the senior community, to be on the on guard for. Oh, yes. And yeah. I, I don't know. You, you, you try to get the information out, yet you pick up the paper or you, you look at some news and somebody got scammed out of this. Or somebody got scammed out of that. Or the, uh, the one that I was reading with great interest, the, the grandparent scam. Yes. Grandpa, I'm in jail. I need X amount of money. Can you send me blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we'll do it right away. And then that same kid rings the doorbell later on to get groceries or whatever. Well, I thought you were in jail. I thought you had trouble. No. I haven't been anywhere, Grandpa. No. Well, who did I send the 5000 to? <laughs> it wasn't me. Grandpa. It wasn't me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not like that. The, the Nigerian letter scam you're that right. you see, which to me, I, I still can't believe that has any legs at all. I can't believe people still end up falling for it, but they do every day. It is, it is amazing. You know, uh, when I've, I've been with the BBB now for um, in my 16th year. Wow. And uh, you know, way back when, when we were talking, I thought, you know, back when I was in the media, the things that kind of happened were uh, today, nothing. Uh, you know, someone would come and knock on your door and say, you know, I'm going to, I can do your driveway for $80 and they would get out a bucket of paint and they would just whitewash it or paint it black and the rain would come, it'd go down the street, you lost $80. Right. Today, if they knock on your door, you can lose thousands of dollars. Sure. And it can be uh, someone masquerading as a utility worker uh, who tells you that they're going to reduce the cost of your utility service, be it electricity or gas, and you sign that away thinking, ooh, I, I got it made now for the next five years. Sure. And then you find out that ComEd or NICOR actually you were paying less. Mm -hmm. And you try to get out of it, it's going to cost you $500 because you signed that agreement. And the person seemed so nice. I yes. mean, they, 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 they were telling me they were telling me all these things I didn't know before. And the next thing, well, uh, who wouldn't sign up for it? Absolutely. I, I uh, this is at sometimes the best job I've ever had. And yeah. sometimes it's uh, some of the most depressing jobs I've ever had. You mentioned the grandparent scheme. Yeah. Here in Rockford, we had a, a senior who lost nearly a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. To that scheme. Fortunately, and we may not like it sometimes, uh, that our financial institutions, our credit card companies do have a profile on us. They know where we spend our money, yep. how often we spend our money, how often you go to your bar. They know these things. <laughs> yes, they do. Fortunately, the banker here realized something was up because that person never withdrew those sums of money that frequently and notified the family and was ever able to intervene. Unfortunately, re retrieving that money is next to impossible. Sure. But when we talk about, we look at the scams that happened today, uh, it's frightening. It really is. And and for a lot of seniors, I know that the, the, they once they realize I'm, I'm being taken here, the first thought is, okay, well, the money, but I don't want anyone else to find out about this because then they're going to come in and they're going to take this away from me and I won't have control of my own life, my own finances anymore. My kids will step in going, all right, you're not up to this anymore. Exactly. Look at look at what happened to you. So instead of telling them, it continues on and keeps getting worse. And we really don't. We we have what we call what we don't call what it is called is scam tracker. So we track the scams. BB scam tracker. We track the scams across the country. Uh, all of the uh, hundred plus BBB offices report every Friday what the scam numbers are for our area, and. We yet, we don't have a really, really accurate number because out of embarrassment, people who have fallen for these scams simply don't report it. Right. I'm not going to call the cops and tell them that. I, I don't want to look like an idiot. Right. We're fortunate. You know, uh, my operations assistant in my office, Duane, is constantly on the phone with people calling. But when we look at that person who did call in, there are five others who have not. Yeah. And so we know that the scam problem in this country is, is amazing. It's astronomical because we can't really put our finger on the exact number of people who have been scammed. Right, because they're just not going to tell you. Right. They're just not going to tell you. Spending time with Dennis Horton from the Better Business Bureau. For people, you mentioned people calling in. Uh, for people who have questions, comments, concerns, how do they get in touch with you at the office? 815-963-2222. Just that simple. And online? BBB.org. Click on the link, locate your BBB, put in your zip code.
That's it. That's it. it. Takes you right there. Right. There. And all the information is out there. So what? What are the big ones? What? What? What would people need to be concerned about? What's? Uh, I guess what's uh, the front page as far as things going on? Uh, here's one uh, that came out of our scam tracker. Uh, we do a risk report every year, looking at what were the the big things that would happen and and all the scams in total. You do recall the? Can you hear me? Yes. Scam uh, is not a scam. What we determined after we looked at the, the numbers and the people, there were about 10,000 people across the country who reported, uh, can you hear me? But what they were doing was reporting that they got a call and someone said, can you hear me? Well, in fact, they may be asking you, they were asking, can you hear me? Right. Well, uh, the, the scam was that if you say yes, that yes is being recorded, and then that yes would be used to order a product or make a purchase in your name. Because they verbally told me okay, and they, here's the recording of yes. it. Well, as it turns out, not a single person, not one dime, was lost by anybody. Oh, good. And in, in this, this scheme. Uh, and I verified that, again, and I'm not looking just at our numbers, I looked at Snopes.com, the uh, uh, online... Um, Myth-busting website, for lack of a better. Hey, I heard this. Is this true? They're the ones who generally get to the bottom of it. They also said, well, what this seems to be is a phenomenon that doesn't turn out to actually be a scam. No one actually ever reported to them that there was someone who lost money. So... I can remember reading it though. If you if someone if you if someone calls and you answer and they say, "Can you hear me?" Hang up. Do not respond. And if you do respond, say no. It got it got to a point, Riley, where people were were afraid to say yes on the phone for anything. For any at reason, because it was being Did recorded. You order this pizza? Well, I'm not quite sure. Why do you ask? Um, <laughs> right. Because <laughs> we're going to send you five pies a day for the rest of your <laughs> life, and you're going to have to pay for it. But it's wonderful and interesting how skittish we get upon hearing this sort of thing, but then we'll turn right around and walk into something else. Exactly. I, I, I worry sometimes that, are, are we making people crazy by warning people? But, but better safe than sorry. I've come to that conclusion. Sure. I, I, I relish the time I can come on the radio here and talk to you and, and let people know. Uh, you ask about what, uh, should we be concerned about what's on the front page right now? Well, we're we're a month away from the end of tax season. Right. And uh, the IRS scam, oh. which has been going on, you know, I'm, I, I'm just simply bored by it, frankly. Yeah, I am, too, because I, I, we get the calls at home probably three times a week. Right. Uh, I get them on my cell phone. I've gotten them here at work. Um, it, it's that one seemingly there, there's too many people trying it. it. Exactly. However, they have changed the scam because there are so many of us who are aware of this scam. Uh, instead, now, the these the schemers are targeting the tax preparers and and using hackers to get the information about your taxes, filing your taxes, and then actually having those taxes, uh, your tax refund, put in your bank account. Then they contact you and tell you there's an error and give you direction as to how to return that money, which will actually go to them. Which all will set up because you'll look at it and go, well, there's some funds in there that I shouldn't have had. So obviously these guys are on the up and up. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, it's they are they are smarter than than most people. Um, if they they would put their their smarts and their talents to good use, they could cure cancer. Right. I mean, really. Right. I mean, really the, the way they people. figure out end runs and around things and uh, legalities and, and and trickery and all those other things. Yeah, if you would yeah. apply that to an honest pursuit, uh, look at what you could do. Now, for uh, people once again, I uh, want to contact you and, uh, and 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 make themselves you know avail themselves of the great services the Better Business Bureau offers. The number is very easy to reach eight one five nine six three twenty two twenty two nine six three two. BBB. That's all there is to it. You're going to come back uh, every other week and fill us in on the latest scams every and things that are working around and, and protecting it. people. Yeah, looking forward to it. We are too. Dennis, thanks for coming in this morning.